fam. How are you doing this afternoon? Okay, it's Saturday here in Atlanta, Eastern Standard Time Zone. And I'm taping. I'm out here trying to talk to y'all. Because I'm trying to understand what's being reported in the news and how everybody's feeling about that. Because he's a good guy. But then you have another, you thought, good guy. However, that's not the truth that Christian Keys is saying. Okay? And that is his, um, who he is, his biography. Y'all can read it. But I really don't know. I really don't really know. Because my thing is, if you get sexual, oh, if you get SA, you need to take everything to the police. You don't need to be asking your a victimizer for money if that's the case because then you're like blackmailing this person and like they say they think it's Tyler Perry and I'm like do that shoe uh should I say just do that dress for him because I always thought and it's just my personal opinion he was gay he forever in the gay clubs from what I hear and I guess he's considered a closet gay because he still wants the impression or he wants to give you the impression that he is man, all man, man, man. You know what I'm saying? And I think he feels the audience or consumers of his shows and they won't come and see him. And that may be true to a little bit. You know, there might be a little bit of truth in there. But right now, gays have rights. Just like blacks have rights. White have rights. The whole world have a map of how we are supposed to act as human beings. And we're not supposed to be discriminatory. We're not supposed to be racist. And definitely, we shouldn't hate them that consider themselves gay or lesbian but uh mr christian keys need to talk to us he did a video of really just giving us a little bit uh, you know what i'm saying he gave us tea without the sugar he gave us tea without the lemon you know what i'm saying you can't do one without the other and what we need him to do in his opinion and in his uh having his perspectives and coming to the uh, rational reasoning of what happened to him but he didn't name the person and see that's what get me that's what get me but let's listen to christian keys and hear what he has to say about the whole thing What's going on, y'all? I want to talk to you about some stuff. And, and it's been on my heart, so I want to speak on it. <clears throat> All right. Um, good evening. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, I am... I've been speaking to my brother about making a declaration of my experience um what i experienced with certain powers that be that were moving inappropriately and i really like it's in my bone marrow to discuss that because thankfully god built me the way that he built me but I, I'm not sure, you know, based on this person's claims and, and brags um, that he's literally got. At the same time this person was sexually, sexually harassing me for years. Um, he was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was 
when he requested him to be there. And clearly, that's why it was, it felt to him that it was okay to say these things. And I, I really, I want to have these discussions. I want to be transparent with y'all about that. I've done my best to forgive this person, but it happens. It happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. And it'll be men tempting men. And that's why a lot of my posts over the last few years have been about taking the scenic route, you know, taking a long way around because if that means that you can carry your integrity with you, then, and it's 11-11, thank you, Heavenly Father, for another opportunity to connect with you. Um, please forgive my sins, my shortcomings, my bad decisions, and my mistakes. Um, please continue to guide and protect us as only you can. Everybody that's watching, um, it's not a presentation. If I see 11-11, I try to have another conversation with God. So thank you, Heavenly Father. I appreciate you. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, man. Um, that's interesting. But there are, there are um, people that will and have and will continue to, unfortunately, offer these things and some of them are your heroes. Some of them are people who y'all like, oh yeah, such and such is amazing, and he does this, and he does that. Yeah, but he also does this and that. I, um, at some point soon, it's going to have to come out. <clears throat> I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen because most predators would check your phone. And once the sexual harassment started, I was like, well, I need to, I, I gotta protect me because I'm saying no and I don't want this person, as powerful as they are, to try to get in the way of my work. So, I started recording. So I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them. Um, I have recordings of them confessing that, you know, the other guys that they have on the payroll all of the above. Um, and the difference is, the wonderful thing about confidentiality agreements and non-disclosure agreements is that they can't prevent you from turning all of those things over to the police because sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. Tams, you literally just asked, why do we as black people have to deal with that? But sometimes it's our own people. Sometimes it's our own heroes. It's the, sometimes it's the very people we deify. And we look up like, oh, they're doing so much. They're doing so much. No, they're also doing this. And my only reservation about naming the people, you know, there was directors along the way like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. You want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You got my headshot, my resume, and I'm good. You know if I can handle that or not. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. There's other people that... I want to 
to say everything. And my brother was like, nah, not yet. I want to tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. I want to speak on it. And the good news is that they don't even have to believe me. Hopefully they would, but even if they don't, they can hear this person. Since sexual harassment started, I've carried many recorder devices on me, keychains, pens, um, thumb drives with a, a charged battery that get six, seven, eight hours, all of the above. So I have the conversations. I really want to air that, that shit out because it bothers me when I'm alone at night. Like, man, the, the world is celebrating this person and they don't even know the shady and predatory way in which this person moves and the way that, you know, predators resent the prey that gets away. So when you don't say yes, when you don't say, okay, I'll acquiesce and, you know, sign up and literally and figuratively play ball, because we're not doing that, they resent you. This is a conversation we're going to have and we're going to have soon because it, it bothers me in my spirit that you can, I can forgive people. That's one thing. But yeah, P, we don't play ball. That's my brother in there. Um, and he knows the real deal. He knows the who. Um, I'm good. Somebody said, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I'm, I, I have I have peace. I'm literally strategically planning my next eight moves. I'm good. God got me because he was watching when I was offered these opportunities and I didn't say yes. I didn't sell my soul or my ass. Excuse my French, y'all. I know some of y'all, hopefully y'all have no kids around, but I didn't sell nothing for success. It's like, nah, that's not what I want. You know, I, I ain't into that. I ain't into dudes. It's, it's, I'm the, I got an only beard in the bed policy. Mine is the only beard in the bed. Yeah, we not, we ain't doing nothing like that. I don't, I don't get out like that. And these people kept on for years. Sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. And where I'm at now is that in the middle of the night I think about if I'm brave enough to name the person I'll take a polygraph live I'll take five polygraphs live and I'll pass all of them because it's the truth this person is a predator and he's one of several um, and it's a shame, man. But it's, I think it's time. It, it's, I want to, and I know, P, I know you on here. I want to say everything now. And I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money. But I'm going to take, I'm going to have to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and... Let them hear this individual. I wasn't working for him. And the month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, 
I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I declined. Because again, scenic group, I got my integrity with me. I'll, I'll take the long way around. But being that I wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job of this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else, so he needed another lead. I recorded it because I didn't trust him and I had told him over and over and he still always tried shit, just tried shit. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. I have always kept something on me, always, even if my phone is off. Something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense, I've always kept something on me so I can protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, they can also try to get in the way of your work. Um, I want to speak on it. I also want to keep making great things and, and creating jobs and opportunities. But Oh, no, I got backups for the backups for the backups for the backups. I've watched way too many Jason Bourne movies not to have 15 backups. I can press play and you can hear the person and you'll know immediately who the person is that's offering me a hundred grand to strip. You'll know right away and it'll break your heart. I won't have to say the person's name, but I can and I will. I don't mind doing a polygraph or three or five on live TV and I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This industry is something else. It's wonderful and we get to chase our dreams and we get to live other lives. I get to be a judge or an FBI agent. I get to be a, a girl dad. And some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just trying to fuck you. I have documentation from the dealership for the car that they tried to buy as an apology for. Offering me a hundred grand a strip. It's, it's time. I really, I really want to. Just clear the air. Because I'm, I'm tired. And then where I'm at now. It's, if it still feels like that person is fucking with you. Just to fuck with you. Just to mess with you. The industry can be wonderful. I'm grateful. Be clear. That this person showed me how not to be. When I'm a boss. People get dabs and church hugs. The attractive women that work on, on even even on my shows, my my productions, they get dabs and church hugs. That's it, because this person showed me how not to be when I'm in charge and when I built something and when I created something. I hear you, Burnell. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna dial it back. You get on my nerves because I know you're right, but I'm it, it's in my fucking bone marrow and I'm tired of this person gallivanting around doing these PR stunts. Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. Well, then speak on if you want to have. Woo! We're going to have a conversation, y'all, really soon. Really, really soon. Really soon. And I'm, I, 
I thank God that he made me the way that I am. Because I know he sat back and watched. Like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to acquiesce and take this movie that's going to make 60, 70, 80 million dollars? Are you going to take this this picture? Are you going to go to that late night audition, that late night table read? No, you ain't built me like that. I'm a beat, shot at, stomped out more than most of the people that are here on this live put together. P, I'm going to call you in a minute. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to air it out, but I'm so fucking close because I'm tired. I'm tired. And it needs to be told. And the bad part is I'm going to be I'm going to be painted as the villain when I was the one that was sexually harassed for years, years, bullied, intimidated and sexually harassed for years. And I'm going to be painted as the villain because you all have deified this person. Now, some people believe that Oprah is the main gateway you have to get through. And they had said something about um, Tyler Perry and uh, what is that man's name? Mm -mm. Denzel Washington were the gatekeepers as far as letting people come in and really, really enjoy the good life. And they do some of the most despicable things, okay? And it's our, our nature to even be doing stuff like that. Because they do rituals, they do a lot of things. But of course, all of it's alleged because I don't have proof, all right? But they say she controls a lot. She goes and meet with Bill Gates. Ooh, child. It's too much. And then... She, I'm mad at her because she's always promoted Weight Watchers and always said it was a good thing to do. And yet, she was heavy still. And then she comes out and says, oh yeah, I tried the Olympic. It's definitely making me not want to eat and all of that. And ah. But she said, I'm on, I'm on the maintenance program now. I said, so if you gain some of your weight back, because you're not gonna, you're not gonna change the way you eat. You're a southern woman, and if you don't, you're gonna gain the weight back. So she's saying she's on a maintenance for that particular drug. I mean, I guess when she starts going back to wanting to eat some of the bad stuff, she won't gain weight because she's gonna pop, uh, or I should say, insert. Uh, in her leg, stomach, however she does it. She's going to use the Zempic that was truly made for diabetes, a diabetic person. But she, but it has a component in, in the shot that makes you lose weight. But that's over. Let's get back to what Christian has to say about this person. And then if a person tells you over and over, first of all, in general, you have no right to touch anybody. None. None. Now, that's why I'm careful. Like when I do my shows and everything, you know, it's, it's church hugs. I put the veils on and I, I kiss people on the hair up here. Nothing sexual, nothing weird, nothing crazy. And, and I'm trusting that, you know, the fans will receive that out of a place of love and connection. But you are not allowed to touch somebody without their permission. Not allowed to try to touch them in a sexual or private place without their permission. And if they've already declared like, hey, bro, I get that that's your thing, but I like black women in Hennessy and... So miss me with the bullshit, because I'm never going to be open to that. I'm never going to swing at that pitch. Like, I, I'm batting for this team over here. God made ovaries and 
fallopian tubes and vagina, labia majora, labia minora, uterus. This is wonderful over here, so I'm going to stay over here, like, chill. And then this person still tries to grab you, physically grab you. Cassie speaking out has given me, has reminded me about, not, not just me, because it was brutal going through it, because it lasted for years. But her speaking out, people need to know. And the funny thing is, predators like that, they resent the prey they got away. They resent the prey they got away. The prey that didn't fall, the prey that didn't acquiesce and and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this L and sacrifice my morals for this opportunity. Nah. That was around the time that I was considering going back to Michigan. 08, 09. Because work was slow and the work that was coming was was offered with a side of penis. And, yeah, that don't do nothing for me. I'm bad for y'all team. So, um, yeah, I, at some point soon, I've spoken with my attorney trying to figure out how to deal with it. It's never been about money. I, I literally intentionally let the statute of limitations passed. It's not about money or being able to sue. But at some point, really soon, the police report is going to be filed and I'll turn over the recordings of the inappropriate behaviors and the inappropriate offers and I'll turn over the paperwork for the car that was bought as an apology for offering me $100,000 to take my clothes off. And y'all can hear him his voice is very distinctive and I want to I want to empty I'm tired of carrying this shit there's a reason now why I fight more than ever when somebody wrongs me why I almost too aggressively speak up is because I wasn't brave enough to then and I I regret not being able to be strong enough and I resent that part of me that wasn't strong enough to speak up about it. It's taking everything in me not to air out everything and put all the recordings online, put all the paperwork and the PDFs online. Uh, there's no reason that this person's company would be on the bill of sale for a vehicle unless it's right after the timestamp recording of him offering me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't have to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Like, you know, I'm not into that. I don't, I don't fuck around like that. I don't do that. What the fuck? What? Leave. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get out. I thought you were my brother and my friend. And this definitely has nothing to do with my brother who's in here. Be clear. I thought this person was a brother type figure, a mentor, mentor type figure. But for you to continuously throw these opportunities, you know good and damn well all it ever was was you pretending to be a mentor trying to get some ass. That'll never happen. I don't bat for that team. Yeah, but I gotta get off of here and talk to my brother because I'm I'm so fucking close to just airing everything out. I'm just dumping everything online in the morning. I'm tired, man. 
I'm not forgiving myself. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't brave enough back then because somebody said, forgive yourself. KG, it's, it's heavy on my heart, man, and I'm tired. And we around here deifying people that go out and do this, and I'm going I'm to do this, and I'm going to pay off this, and I'm going to pay off that, and I'm going to pay off that. But at the same time, these same people are predators. I'm not 